Hello everybody, it's Phil Beck with the Professional Painter and Decorator back with you with another riveting and interesting video on painting. Da, da, da. Yeah, we have a laugh about watching paint dry, cricket, all the boring stuff, but hey ho. Um, today, we've got the HVLP out. I'm following up on a previous video where I brushed um, the Colour Bond Aquatech. Uh, I brush the colour bond Aquatech on. Can you see there? That all oh, that UPVC. Yeah, it's focused. That UPVC window. I brushed it. Now I did say to people, I will follow up um, from doing the brushing with spraying it. Now colour bond have kindly supplied me th with this um, paint because they'd seen previous videos where I've done um, test samples of uh, water-based products that you brush on UPVC. Simon at colour bond says. Phil, you've got to try it because it's um, a good product and I wanted to try it, so brilliant. You sent it out. I've had a, I've had a brush on there. Uh, mm, yeah, you can tell by my face. It took four coats to get a nice um, coverage over it. It did go on all right and it did flow out better on that fourth coat. If you watch the previous video, if, if I'm clever enough to do a link on the actual video of this, I'll do a link to it. If not, it'll be at the end of the video. But it did brush out four coats, a little bit, apprehensive about doing a full house brushing UPVC paint but back to where we are today um, I've got the HVLP out and I'm going to spray I've got another if I can just cock you down I've got another sample can you see there I've got another sample window that I've all prepped up so we're not going to have a let's not have a 40 minute video from me today let's try and keep us under 15 minutes because I know some of you are getting bored how can I cram 40 minutes worth of information into 15 minutes? I just don't know, I just don't know. But joking aside, I prepped it all up ready. Um, I've gone over it with all the cleaners that Colourbond supply. That's that water-based three-in-one, oh well, three-in-one, three-to-one ratio cleaner. Um, I suds it all down, dry it all off, and then you go over it with the, the window, the final, that can you see that, the window prep which is like the cellulose cleaner. So I've done all that, I've got it all taped up for you. And my plan is, because this still takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dry, the weather's a bit overcast, but it, I would say it's cold, I've got a bit of a breeze. So it's if needs be, I'll stop the video and I'll move it inside just to get a bit, a bit more water on it, but we're not going to worry about that. So my plan is today, I'm going to do what I said to do, I'll give you HVLP, opinion spraying this colour bond aquatech now i'm going to do the same principle that i do when i do my other spraying with um colour bond i'll do a light coat so i dial down the the needle well the needle it's the the paint flow so it gives me more of a mist the first coat will be a mist coat and then i'll build up from there now i've not thinned the paint i've not thinned the paint not added any water to it now the specification for spraying this is from a 1.8 needle to a 2 and probably a little bit higher because obviously I've told you about the numbers if you've got the higher the number on the spray tip the more thicker the paint can go through it now I don't want to thin this because it'll obviously change the molecularization it's a good word for a Thursday morning molecularization of the paint I don't want to do that but what I have done and I'm giving you a top tip Thursday I've got the can of paint and just from household tap water which was warm I've warmed the paint up because I didn't want it outside temperature I wanted actually to warm the paint up now my top tips Thursday tip on this is if you warm the paint and I'm not on about scalding hot I'm on about warming paint it just slightly thins it and makes it easier to spray do you get me proofs in the pudding so let's crack on with it I can see that my time is telling me I've done five minutes I don't want to be over 15 minutes I want to keep it less than that so what I'm going to do I'm going to crack on I've got can you see what I've got in the background can you see what's there can you see that Doris the door back with you back in the room Doris the door, Doris the door. I'm using Doris as a bit of a sample wall. So I've already got a piece of the Cortexy plasticky sheet. I've done some sample sprays of my sprayer, so I know that I'm all right. Now back to my HVLP. It's a stage five. It's a QT five. 
if you've got it set up like I've shown you on previous videos I don't want to go over setting up an HBLP now but your airflow control should be the nearest to the gun now this is where if you find you've got too much airflow just slightly knock it down by reducing the airflow that will come down to the paints that you're using and your experience to say whether you need to change the airflow whether you want full airflow or just reduce it down so it's not getting clouds of dust I'm outside I'm not too worried I've got my mask you know me some strong mask that's another video but it over 30 years and again another video it's not the same filters it's just the same mask filters get changed regular so yeah let's crack on I'm gonna spray a light mist coat bear with me it's not it's not inside spray booth um, environment I'm outside so just bear with me and let's see how we go right maestro can you turn me the machine on not doing it. My apprentice is not doing it. Yeah. £9.50 an hour you're on now. £9.50 for turning the machine on. Get on with it. Just can't get the staff. Right, I'll put my mask on. I'll just do a bit of a test spray to make sure my flow's all right and then we'll go for a mist coat. You know Phil Beckwith, the painter and decorator, who does some riveting videos because now shall we just wait for that to dry? I think we can wait for it to dry. But what I'll do, if I take my mask off, it's there. Not that I really needed it outside for a two second video. I'll just take you off the camera and let's just show you what I've done. Now, again, I say bear with me. This is the first time I've used this product for spraying it. I know my HVLP inside and out. I know how to work that. I know it sprays nice, but I'll flip the camera. Let's have a look. I've literally, can you see? I've just got a splatter coat on and that's what I call it a splatter coat now I've not expected it to cover I'm using this as the base this is the first coat this is the coat that gives you the adhesion you see how I've got it all just taped off so we can do half and a half a bit like we've done with the frame there so this is just a bit of a splatter now when you're working with HVLP the idea is that the paint comes out the end of the gun the air horns at the end um, send the um, air out mixed with the paint it molecules across or whatever words you want to use and it's in like droplets now when the droplets of paint go onto the surface if you've got the consistency right they'll look a bit splattery to start with but if the consistency and the flow is nice it just evens out so at the moment I've not put a lot on there so it does look splattery but they are starting to flow out if you can see there now my idea is oh, we'll put 10 minutes times against me my idea is that when I come back and give another coat and I'll do that and build up for another two, three coats, that'll have all evened out. So I'm looking at retiming now, I'm at just over 10 minutes on talking to you. I'm going to shut off and I'll come back and I'll add an edit to try and keep us under 15 minutes. But can you see what I'm doing? I'm using the HVLP, show you the kit. My HVLP's there and can you see, this is your top tip Thursday, the Colourbond Aquatech. It's just in a bucket of warm water and it has made it nice and, um, well, I don't want to say thin, but it has eased it to make me um, have a thinner coat of paint going on so it's not thick. Because if you think cold weather thickens your paint. So let's have a flip over. You see, Doris, let's get you back. 
I'll see you in about 15 20 minutes we'll do a quick video and we'll add to it so thanks for sticking with me thumbs up like subscribes I've got over a thousand subscribers now so I'm really happy I've got well over 4,000 downloads viewing from you that means I've got many tries to say this last week uh, let's not get too excited I thought I was actually going to be looking at Porsches this weekend I didn't think it's going to happen so yeah see you in a bit bye bye back with you that first coat's dried looks a little bit spattery because it's the first coat it's not much paint flow going on so what I've done I've just turned the dial on the back of the HVLP to allow a bit more paint to come through on the needle this is the 1.8 you probably find if you're on a 2.0 it'd be easier to just to dial it and allow a bit more paint through the tip without allowing too much paint coming through coming through on the flow of the needle if that makes sense so while I was waiting I just put this pot into the bucket of warm water to keep the paint at an even temperature so I'm going to spray my second coat now it should be a little bit heavier I won't go so fast so I'll put a bit more on but, uh, get my words out put a little bit more on so while I'm doing that I want to five seconds subscribe well, I want to see how many people subscribe to me in the five seconds while I'm doing this or it might be a bit more than five seconds. So, it's in a few um, seconds. Five seconds, subscribe. second coat gone on put it on a little bit thicker it obviously looks a bit splattery when it goes on I'm hoping that flows out so let's get it dry I'll see you back in 15-20 uh, um, minutes um, and then we'll see what it's like give it a third coat I've got a feeling the way that's gone on for two if I give a nice third coat I probably won't need any more which is the plan a soft first coat primer second coat like an undercoat top coat jobs are gone all done I'll get this video out hopefully by Saturday. So Thursday now, Saturday. Let's get it edited. Want you to have something for Saturday afternoon watching. Yeah. See ya. Bye. Back in a minute. We're going in for a third coat. I'm hoping this will be the coat that finishes it. Now what I would say is just dial your needle to allow a little bit more paint through to the flow. Make sure you get the edges because obviously after the second coat you'll just check around like I've done. This is a demo panel so I'm not going to be too critical about if we've got a little bit of a missed edge. But don't forget this colour bond, you can go over those rubbers. So on the edges there, we're not worried if a bit of paint goes on those edges because you can get the colour bond to stick to that. Now those edges around there might look a little bit missed because I didn't make sure I covered them. So this coat I will cover them. Again, if you're doing a proper job and not a demo board, you would be making sure you're doing that anyway. So don't pick up on that, that have missed bits. I haven't, I've already seen them. So let's get this third coat on. A little bit more paint's going on. I'm going to, let, I'm going to go a little bit slower to make sure that the paint goes on nicely and it'll flow out. It's been in that water bucket, warm paint. We're good to go. Right, see you in a few seconds.
good machine to go off. It's a bit noisy. I don't know whether you picked up on there. I did go over myself a couple of times to try and get enough paint on. Now, at the moment, it looks a little bit pimply. And if, say, camera finish, those that are old enough to know what I mean by camera finish, it looks a bit splattery in camera finish. Now, it did do after the second coat. Now, hopefully, like it did on the second coat, it started flowing out nicely. This third coat, it's got plenty of paint on. It's covered. I'm not going to put any more on. It doesn't need a fourth coat. I'm quite happy. On the brush, you see there, see that top corner? When we brushed it, it needed four. And as I expected, doing it with spray, better coverage, even, and it'll dry out nicely. So over and out, let's get this dry. I'm gonna say thanks for watching me. I'll finish off with my last section, and hopefully we're under the 15 minutes. If not, oh, God, I've missed, missed out. Let's hope we're under 20 minutes at least. I'll show you some finished um, pictures and get some close-ups with the camera, zooming around it so you can have a look what it's like actually when it's dry. But looking at how it's been drying and how it is now, I'm hoping that will flow out nicely. This isn't the Spirit, you know, the cellulose-based um, Colour Bond Original, which I'm quite happy with. You've seen on previous videos, that flows out lovely. This is a little bit more thicker paint with it being water-based. It might be a little bit more textured because I didn't want to thin it. If you thinned your paint, it would flow out more. I didn't want to do that because it'll alter the, the molecularization, the makeup of the paint. So let's get this dry and I'll come back in a few um, minutes. Well, 20, 25, see you later. Back with you, it's been about half an hour or so. Actually, I've got a confession. After that third coat, it was flowing out lovely. And I just picked up the panel you know I'd go it all protected with that card. Just picked up that panel, the wind blew, blew my card protector over and touched all my surface. So I quickly got it back down while I'd still got my paint pot out because it had just marked it. It had scratched through it. I could just see where it had touched. I just wafted over the top just to try and get it even. So I don't want to call it a fourth coat because it was far from a fourth coat. But I did, I did, I can't even say my words. I did have to just try and touch it in for you. But apart from that, it did actually go for three. Now I'm back now, it's all dry. Got my tin there. While I've been waiting, I'm going to take it off the stand. While I've been waiting, I've cleaned all my kit out. Put my kit away. You see, I've got my kit away there. And, um, zoom out. Oh, let's get me back in. Come on, make me look a bit younger. Oh, let's have some filters. Right, also while I waited, Doris the door came and she wanted a coat, well, a coat of paint, not a coat coat. So uh, I ran a tape edge down, went from top to bottom, um, just using that colour bond, the Aquatec, just to see what it was like going over that Hague blue of the Farron Ball, which that was real Hague blue Farron Ball. Previous video I showed you how to rub a door down, riveting stuff. But yeah, that's one coat. Of this Aquatec colour bond going over that door it's not something you'd use but I just want to see what it sprayed like and it's gone on lovely let's get you a bit closer you see that's nice coat you can't really see it on a camera can you you've just got to take me word for it so yeah back to what I've done I've gone away from 15 minutes sometimes I'm thinking more on to 20 <laughs> but let's let's just have a look at that um, new PVC that I've sprayed now flip you over now this this one is where I took off the paper you can see where I've took the paper off you can feel it there now this is three coats I know albeit just a waft us where it would touch there I just wafted it in so it's probably gone a bit flat hey ho but yeah I would say if you can just see a little bit of a camera finish it's still drying still drying yeah it is nearly dry, but it's still drying. A little bit of a camera finish, but it is flowing out a lot better than I thought. I would say a bit more practice, because this is a practice board. It's always good to do a practice with new products, and that's what I'm doing, and I'm doing it for you. Would I put it on a little bit thinner? Probably not, it was all right thicker. Would I thin it slightly? I prob yeah, I possibly would just put a touch of water into it, particularly on a day like today, where the air's it's not warm. I've had to warm my paint with a bucket of water. I would think it would just get a splash of water and that flowing out of that bit of a 
camera finish. I don't know you can see a bit of a pimply. It's not focusing. Come on. It's not focusing. Would go. But do you know what? As a spray paint, I'm quite impressed with it. I'd get that a lot better if I was doing it not on a sample board. I'd get a bit of thin, thinner paint going on. Flow it out. Three coats is ideal. Let's swap across to what I did the other week. Well, last week. This was the brush. Can you see the brush marks? That was four coats. Not happy with that. It's ideal. As I said to Simon this week, I've emailed him. I've said, it's got its place. And I would say it's places for the people who haven't got a sprayer. Want to have a quality product onto UPVC windows to change the colour. This is the, I would say, this colour bond's the product for you. I'm, I'd be happy with that for four coats. I won't be happy with it, how it grinny it is. Uh, sorry, grinny. Um, I won't be happy how it is brush marquee because I like spray finish and if you've seen spray finishes that I've done on previous videos with the other colour bond it flows out lovely this is a little bit pimply but that's because the flow of the paints it's thicker stuff back to Doris it's lovely on Doris lovely finish so yeah I take it back what I said about it last week being not really for me I would say it is for me it's got its place it's a water-based product the kit washed out lovely let's bring you back into me my brush washed out my spray equipment washed out and it went beautifully down the drain water-based so yeah are we happy with that I'm happy with it if you try it practice just get a sample board tweak your paint flow probably put a splash of water into it or do what I've done keep it warm that will thin your paint but other than that I'm really impressed so the purpose of today's video was to test out the Aqua Tech colour bond with the HVLP which I've done but also the purpose of the video as my kids keep telling me was to get a thousand likes and 10,000 subscribers just off this video we'll wait and see but I'll see you on the next one give us a thumbs up Give us some comments. It'd be nice to get some comments on what videos you'd like me to do in the future. I know some of you do message me uh, privately on Instagram and also Facebook. But yeah, let's let's move forward. We've gone over the 1,000 people that subscribe to me now. Come and tell me what you want um, videos of. And if I can do it, and if I can help you, I will do. And thanks very much for the um, kind comments from you as well. I like replied to you. And I'll see you on the next one. Over and out. Do, 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 do. The music's coming. I know it's like Campbell Wick Green. My wife cracks up, but we're over and out.